The reason 95% of runners don't improve in their Maffetone training is because of this. Maffetone pillars. And when one of the four pillars falls, everything unravels. And so ends your fast progression in your runs. And sadly, when you watch to the end of this video, you will see that you've only been focusing on two out of the four pillars. However, at the end of the video, I'll show you how to fix this and improve your running just like I did. And the biggest problem is, is people spend a lot of time changing their diet. And diet isn't the end all and be all. It's gonna be different for everybody. Some of us consume processed food. Some of us eat meat. Some of us are vegetarians. Some of us are vegans. Some of us are paleo. Some of us are operating in keto. Doesn't matter what necessarily diet you are on. Yes, there's a lot of truth when it comes to the processed food, but if you're eating real food, you should be okay. You have to remember, everybody is different. We are not all the same. And if we were, it would be really boring. Now, if you just change the food in your diet, it doesn't necessarily change anything. You've got these other three pillars that all come before this fourth one. So let's talk about that next. You're probably wondering what the number one pillar is, and that is consistency. If you're not out there running, then what are you doing? It's not gonna help if you go out and run one day and then miss four days and then run another day and then the cycle repeats. It doesn't happen like that. You have to be consistent. You have to have a plan and you have to execute the plan regardless of what the weather is like. The weather can be awful outside or it can be really beautiful, but it really doesn't matter. If you're not running consistently, you're not gonna see any of the benefits. Now that you have consistency all lined up and you're going out for your run, how fast are you running? Running too fast doesn't help. You could be going and running every run basically as fast as you can. But at the end of the day, if you get injured, you're out. And that doesn't help with your consistency. Consistency really does win out. What I would suggest is you start running using the 180 minus your age rule. Now, the big factor when it comes to this is don't be a slave to it. I have been doing a lot of running above my Maffetone method number, and I'm gonna tell you the consistency part of it is sometimes a little bit more important than the number itself. You just gotta find the positive. You just have to find that joyful moment, you know, and remember, you know, why are you doing this? No one's forcing you. So if you are struggling, if you are not improving, if you are having these thoughts about just giving up using the method, change it up and start to run, regardless of what that heart rate number is. Now, you wanna keep it as slow as possible, and you may wanna do this for about a month and see what happens. See what happens with your heart rate. If it starts to drop, that is a good sign, and you can go on to pillar number three. Increase your distance, increase your time, things then start to change rapidly. When I started using this method, I didn't really know what I was doing. I just went out there and I started to run, but I didn't see a whole lot of results very, very fast. I had to build up my aerobic base to get me to the next level. And you have to do it slowly so you don't hurt yourself. Getting put in the injury box doesn't help because it starts the cycle all over again. Now, running just at a low heart rate isn't always the end all and be all as well. You have to make sure that you have a plan. You have to be able to execute it and increase your mileage, increase the time on your feet. Going ahead and going out for a run for half an hour doesn't necessarily give you the results that you want. So you want to slowly start to work your way up to one hour. And eventually, when you start hitting that six to seven hour range, then you may start to see some really cool results, just like I did when I first started. Pillar number get good quality sleep. When you dial all of those factors in, good things start to happen. Because when you go ahead and run using this low heart rate, 
continuously and you improve your mileage and you're getting the sleep and you're being consistent and you're changing your diet to whole foods, good quality foods, and staying away from the processed stuff, the package really starts to come together. Let me tell you a secret. This is fascinating. When that all starts to happen and you start to see the results, you actually want to start running even more your habit of getting out the door becomes easier. And when that becomes easier, you become happier because you're seeing the results. So I'm gonna share with you my results after one week of my training, and I'll show you what my hill repeats look like and what my easy run look like. Not using the Maffetone method, but using perceived effort, slowly working my way from the outside in so that way I can not be so frustrated and give up. This was a hard run. Strava says that it was, I had a score of 124 on the relative effort. I really don't know what that means, but heck, we'll just go with it. Now, when looking at this run, you can see that my heart rate is 149 for an, a couple of kilometers, and then it goes to 150, all the way up to 155. Now, again, that's nowhere near my Maffetone number. My Maffetone number is really a lot lower than that, around 133. Now, here's the thing that you need to see. One week later, after my training plan, after I did everything that I needed to do in the one week, I went out and I did the exact same run today. As you can see, I had a relative effort of 117. Again, I still don't know what that means, but let's go with it. And now when I look at these numbers, I can see that I'm 143, 144, 146, 148, 147, it is a big difference compared to one week ago. I'm not even using the Maffetone method. I'm literally just running slow. It's my perceived effort. And it was freezing today, just like it was last week. And yesterday, it was raining, and I did hill repeats. So let's take a look at those. Last week, I did three hill repeats. 30 seconds up with a minute 30 rust. So this is what they look like, 445. 413, 401. Okay, not too bad. I haven't run for a while and I'm just, an old, <laughs> I'm just an old guy. Let's take a look at some other numbers from yesterday. It's four repeats, 30 seconds up. I think I'm gonna puke. My training called for four. 30 second repeats on the same hill. Now let's see how this looks. 359, 349, 358, and 359. Much better than the previous week. Again, these are some of the reasons why I think runners fall down and quit using the Maffetone method. Again, it's not for everybody, but if you stick with it, and if you got your pillars down right, things can change. And Going ahead and not using the Maffetone method, but using perceived effort, you can also start to see results. Now, if you want to know more and show you how you can better your running using the Maffetone method with a secret hack that I figured out, then go ahead and watch this video right here. I always say, get out and run.